in order to use the menu then you have to have a USB keyboard connected on the Raspberry Pi. So now your system is started and you have the keyboard connected you can access the menu, the user menu by pressing F12 key like this and now you see the menu displayed on the screen. If you have a touch screen or a mouse then you can click on the empty bottom of the screen and the menu also opens. If you don't have a touch screen or using ordinary with a MIDI console without a display then we can customize the system so the menu opens when you press a button or a key. If you're interested in that, please contact us. So now as we have said, the system is read-only, so every change you would make here, and we encourage you to make changes, to experiment, but nothing will be saved. So if you want some changes to be saved, like for example audio settings or MIDI settings or pipe changes, then you have to use this USB key. Let's go now to see how to do that. So, first you plug in your USB key on the system. Here we have a remote USB port. You can use the Raspberry Pi USB port. Now you need to access the tech menu. And to go to the tech menu, then you have to press Ctrl and F12. You cannot do this without the keyboard, so make sure you have the keyboard connected. And then you have access to the tech menu, where you have several options, sound card, USB, SD card write protection, we we'll see that in a minute. Now for now, what we want to use is go to the USB key menu. So you can go to the options, scrolling with the arrows, or you can touch directly if you have a touch screen, or use the mouse. And we only have one option for this USB key for now, it's just format and copy all default organs. And it says reboot, as the system will have to reboot after this is done. So let's go and press enter. You have a warning message, organary will reboot after USB key format, are you sure you want to proceed? Then yes, we want to proceed. And second warning, all data on your USB key will be lost. So make sure you don't have nothing you would like to keep. Let's go. The system is now rebooting. You can see here it has found the USB key. And now the system starts again, but the difference is now, you can see it's, it's a bit longer to load all the stops because it's loading the stops from the USB key and not from the micro SD card anymore. So it confirms that we are using the USB key to store all your user data and that's what we want. Let's have a look at the presets for example. Preset 1, 2 is empty, 1, 1 is empty, so we are going to save whatever preset on preset 1 then go to preset number 2 and make another one ok, store ok now let's restart to see that you go to the tech menu, control F12 and choose reboot now if we see SDA, yes so it has seen the USB key. It's important to make sure you have your USB key connected on startup. Now the loading is faster because it's the second time we're starting the system. It does not have to calculate the stops again. And if we load presets, yes, the presets are here after a reboot. So it also confirms that the USB key really stores your user data to the USB key. Now for the sake of example, we are shutting down the system and removing the USB key and we see that we are going back to the default so let's do that now and reboot the system the USB key is not detected and if we go to presets 
oh, it's not the same presets. These presets are those stored by default in the micro SD card. If you forget to plug in your USB key, then you will be back to the default configuration, who would still work, but without your user data stored. And this introduces us to the overlay system. So if we go back to the menu, then you have an important setup that is SD card write protection. So by default, the system is read only. All your changes will not be saved in the system unless you have the USB stick connected. So this is what is called the write only and secure mode. That's what we advise you to use, to always use the secure mode with the USB stick. If you want to do advanced modification, you can do that. Then you can use the less secure mode, which is the default read-write mode. So you, your changes will be saved to the system. Let's have a look at it. Less secure mode. P we reboot. OK, you confirm. And now the system goes in reboot mode. And now all your changes will be saved. This is mostly used when you go into the console to make hardware changes, for example, or deep system updates. By default, the system uses the Raspberry Pi internal sound card, but if you want to go with the P sound, which is the sound card we recommend, then you would have first to go to this a read-write mode, so we are sure the changes uh, go back in the next reboot. And then you go to choose sound card, and instead of P onboard sound card, you choose P hat sound card. The system will need to reboot once more. If you're ready, you say yes. And on this next reboot, then the P soundboard will be the default output sound card. It's that easy. And now the system has rebooted, it's important to remember that you are still in read-write mode, less secure mode. So we recommend you to go back to SD card write protection and set it back to write-only secure mode. Now that your changes have been made, make sure to go back to secure mode so every reboot will be safe. We are, we guarantee you that on every reboot you will have the very same system, the very same working system. Okay, now we have our system configured with our sound card, with the USB key formatted with all our user data stored in it, so we are ready to use it daily. Now let's have a look at other options. Here at the tech menu, control F12, we have the mouse cursor. As the distribution by default is made for touch screen, we do not have the mouse cursor enabled, but if you are using a mouse, then you go to this tech menu, press Ctrl F12 and go to mouse cursor and mouse cursor enable. You confirm, it says it will reboot, quickly reboot, it's a quick one. And now you have your mouse cursor, so if, if using the mouse it's really easier. Remember we are in less secure mode, in write-only mode, so this change will not be saved upon reboot unless you are in read-write mode. And I can disable it. Now let's have a look at the more user menu. It has interesting options. MIDI recorders allows you to record everything you are playing on the keyboard. So it records what's coming inside the organ system from the MIDI inputs. You can have the status saying it's currently, sorry, it's currently not recording. If you want to start a recording, simply go to start new recording 
and now the system is recording we can confirm that by going into the status says currently recording and if you want to stop this one we just press stop once you know about the MIDI recorder of course you're interested in the MIDI player that the status is currently not playing you can stop the currently playing MIDI file you have access to a few MIDI demos and also to your MIDI recording so we have just recorded one file which is saved here with the date and the hour if we go and record a new one for example start a new recording a very quick one and stop now if we go to MIDI player your MIDI recordings you can see we have two different recordings that's how you do and one last interesting feature is you can switch with different organs so here you have access to three default organ definitions which are shipped with Aeolus installation and the carry that we have provide you for the organ release system if you want to switch to a new organ now you can switch to this one or only set this organ as default on startup let's do it for example just closing the window and opening a new one it looks the same but all the stops are different this is the instrument definition principle 8 principle 4 for example let's switch to Aeolus 2 which is quite different it has a layout which is different with different options so that's the easy way to switch an organ let's go back to our default organ now if you want to build your own, your own organ definition with stops and layout then come back to the next video where we will explain how Aeolus works in details thank you for watching this video today hope to see you soon take care bye